over emote my hand gestures right now. You know Well, we were on the plane. I got the alert when I was on the plane that they grounded, that Trump grounded the 737-800s. And I was a little surprised because we were on a 737-800. And when I got off the plane here in Phoenix, I checked the board and I saw there was a lot of canceled flights. So we're glad we made it. A little uneasy, actually. I fly Southwest a lot, um, and I thought that they should have done a better job of notifying people at least. I trust our aviation officials, and if they feel a need to go ahead and ground uh, uh, those eights, uh, I think they should. I think from a safety standpoint, I've got to believe that that's on top of their list uh, at all times. And so uh, they certainly uh, wouldn't do that if they didn't think there was any kind of a um, problem with it. And so I think it's a good thing. Obviously, they're after safety number one. I've been following it. I know that they've had uh, two planes that have crashed so far, but there's so many that have been operational that I'm not sure it's really as big of an issue as some people are making it sound like it is. I think it was the right decision given that the rest of the world is doing the same thing and it's a prudent thing to be doing until we know more about what's going on. I feel like it's interesting that they actually passed all their testing to be in service and now they're going back and grounding them, you know, from complaints or something. So just, you know, did it really go through all the no. testing or not? Or just stuff afterwards that they're finding out about the plane? 